inside Highgrove House. Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like this video, and check out our weekly newsletter in the description, as well as our Patreon. Nestled amidst the serene countryside of Gloucestershire, England, Highgrove House stands as a testament to timeless elegance, sustainable living, and profound cultural significance. Often referred to as Charles and Camilla's family home, the Georgian neoclassical house dates back to the 1790s, but Charles bought the home and grounds in 1980. Prior to the royal's arrival, the land belonged to Maurice Macmillan, a member of Parliament and the son of Prime Minister Harold Macmillan. When Charles first arrived, Highgrove possessed little more than a neglected kitchen garden and some pasture land with a few hollow oaks. At the heart of the house, amidst the splendor of its historic halls and verdant gardens, lies a space that holds a special place in the hearts of many, the cherished quarters once inhabited by the beloved Princess Diana. Known for her grace, compassion, and enduring legacy, Princess Diana captivated hearts and minds with her warmth and sincerity. It was during that first weekend Prince Charles showed Diana around Highgrove, the 353-acre Gloucestershire home he had bought in July. The same month, he started to woo her. As he took her on a guided tour of the eight-bedroom mansion, the prince asked her to organize the interior decoration. He liked her taste, though she felt it was a most improper suggestion, as they were not even engaged. The home, with its ivy-clad walls, emerges as an emblem of British heritage and architectural excellence. Acquired in 1980, the property has undergone meticulous restoration and transformation, blending centuries-old charm with modern amenities. Its historic facade, punctuated by mullioned windows and carved stoned accents, beckons visitors into a realm of enchantment and tranquility. Highgrove House was built between 1796 and 1798, and it was believed to have been designed by architect Anthony Keck. The house is a rectangular, detached three-story building made from ashla with a stone and slate roof. The exterior of the home features neoclassical decorations. Where did you start? Which bit first? Uh, the, well, it was really the sundial garden. <laughs> because there was no shelter at all, and there was no seclusion. So we were, in those days, being um, permanently um, pursued by the press, who used to turn up. As the country residence of the king, Highgrove is well protected by security. The house is one of several sites designed under the Serious Organized Crime and Police Act in 2005 that are protected by law from criminal trespass. A high stone wall surrounds the estate, and in 1983, the duchy and the chief constable of Gloucestershire supported the moving for security reasons of two public footpaths that ran close to the house. Several people have been arrested near Highgrove House since the king's occupation, including two French journalists and a photographer. Stepping through the grand entrance of Highgrove House, it is akin to traveling a threshold into a realm of regal splendor and refined taste. It was here that Charles wanted something of his own. The interior design throughout the home is toned down and truly imbues a country home theme and aesthetic. The hall serves as a prelude to the rest of the interiors that lie within. Antique furnishings adorned with plush upholstery and ornate carvings evoke a sense of timeless warmth while the soft glow of crystal chandeliers illuminates the space with a warm, inviting ambiance. The architectural charm of Highgrove House lies in its exquisite attention to detail and craftsmanship. From the meticulously carved wood paneling to the delicate plasterwork adorning the walls, every element of the estate exudes a sense of artistry and refinement. 
Intricate motifs inspired by nature, such as leaves, flowers, and vines, adorn the ceilings and doorways, paying homage to this estate's surroundings. I have always enjoyed wearing perfume because it uplifts and elevates my everyday. But recently, no company has impressed me more than Scentbird. Scentbird is revolutionary in the world of fragrance because being a subscription service, you can try out new scents without having to purchase a full-size bottle. Their website is easy to navigate and they have hundreds of options, so it's easy to locate what you're looking for. One of my favorite features is their large selection of clean fragrances. I am currently enjoying Dimes Malibu Night and Sayola Asian Unicorn by Sanctuary. Dimes Malibu Night combines notes of coconut musk, raspberry, pear, green leaves, and sandalwood. The scent encapsulates the tranquility of a leisurely beach walk in the evening. With its delicate, invigorating, and sweet notes, Malibu Night promises to captivate your senses. Sciola Asian Unicorn by Sanctuary is a fresh scent inspired by the Sciola's tropical forest habitat. This fragrance begins with a vibrant explosion of ripe pineapple and greens. Delicate peach skin and jasmine sandback introduce a fruity floral playfulness while sugared musk and patchouli bring a warm, mysterious allure to the composition. Exploring new fragrances has unveiled scents I adore even more than the ones I previously wore, and I urge you to embark on a similar journey. Scentbird carries perfumes, colognes, and plenty of unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply to try new fragrances before deciding if you want to buy the full-size bottle. Make sure to click the link below to visit Scentbird's website or scan the QR code and use my code ELEGANCE for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And that's only about $8. The drawing room of Highgrove House has soft hues and sumptuous fabric that all together creates an atmosphere of understated luxury. The room is cozy and warm. And while Charles was married to Diana, he would often eat his dinner here, either in front of the television, reading the newspaper, or one of his beloved novels. Whilst in the background, classical music played. Diana, on the other hand, would be up in her bedroom, where sounds of more current tunes could be heard, Duran Duran being her favorite. Her room is full of grace and nostalgia, Personal mementos and cherished belongings serve as a poignant reminder of her legacy, offering insight to her passions, interests, and aspirations. Each item tells a story of love, loss, and resilience, preserving the spirit of the beloved princess for generations to come. Diana could often be found in the kitchen with her children, getting a much-desired snack, or after waking up at 7 a.m., would start the day with a swim, and one cannot blame her. The gardens and grounds of Highgrove House are perhaps its most enchanting feature. With their vibrant colors and fragrant blooms, they captivate visitors year-round. Designed by Charles himself, the gardens are a harmonious blend of formal elegance and natural beauty, with meandering pathways and secluded corners inviting exploration and contemplation. From the tranquil water features to the lush flower beds, every aspect of the gardens reflects Charles's commitment to sustainable living and environmental conservation. Under his stewardship, Highgrove House underwent extensive restoration and renovation, transforming it into a model of sustainable living and environmental stewardship. His vision for Highgrove was not just to create a private residence, but to establish a haven that harmonized with nature and promoted biodiversity. One of the most significant developments in Highgrove's history occurred in the late 1980s, when Charles embarked on an ambitious garden project, drawing inspiration from his love of nature and his interest in organic gardening. He set about creating a series of gardens, that would not only enhance the beauty of the estate, 
but also serve as a sanctuary for local wildlife. Solar panels were installed on the farm, and the house is heated by a wood chip boiler. In addition, waste from the house is filtered through a natural sewage system. And interestingly to note, the use of aerosols was banned in the house in the 1980s. The gardens at Highgrove soon became a labor of love for Charles, who meticulously planned and cultivated each area to reflect his ecological principles and personal tastes. From the enchanting sundial garden to the tranquil stumper, each garden at Highgrove tells a unique story and celebrates the beauty of the natural world. The king has created the Carpet Garden, Southern Hemisphere Garden, Walled Garden, the Autumn Walk, Sundial Garden, and a Woodland Garden featuring two classical temples made from green oak and a stumper created by Julian and Isabel Mannerman in 1996. The other buildings built by the king at Highgrove include beehive pavilions and a beef yard designed by Billy Bertram, built in the traditional Cotswold stone. A section of the garden contains busts of people admired by Charles, including Debo Devonshire, composer John Tavner, naturalist Dame Miriam Rothschild, poet Kathleen Rain, activist Vandana Shivra, and the Bishop of London, Richard Chartres. In addition to its royal residence, Highgrove Estate has also played host to numerous dignitaries, celebrities, and world leaders over the years. From intimate gatherings to formal receptions, Highgrove has been a venue for diplomacy, celebration, and cultural exchange. Its serene surroundings and impeccable hospitality have made it a sought-after destination for those seeking respite from the demands of public life. Today, Highgrove House continues to serve as a private residence for King Charles and his wife, who have lovingly maintained its historic charm and ecological integrity. Through their dedication to sustainable living and environmental conservation, they have transformed Highgrove into a model of organic gardening and wildlife preservation. The estate's gardens in particular have garnered international acclaim for their beauty and ecological diversity, attracting visitors from around the world. King Charles and Queen Camilla are custodians of Highgrove's legacy, ensuring that the estate remains a place of beauty, inspiration, and cultural significance for generations to come. Their commitment to preserving the estate's natural and architectural heritage ensures that Highgrove will continue to enchant and captivate all who have the privilege to experience its timeless charm. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And for more, check out our Patreon and weekly newsletter located in the description of this video. And let me know which scent from Scentbird you are looking forward to the most by using my code Elegance or by scanning the QR code on screen to receive 55% off your first month. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.